Good morning. Thanks for joining me for our final day of devotionals today. Our reading is from Luke chapter 11, beginning in verse 14. Now Jesus was casting out a demon that was mute. When the demon had gone out, the one who had been mute spoke, and the crowds were amazed. But some of them said, He casts out demons by Beelzebul, the ruler of demons. Others, to test him, kept demanding a sign from him from heaven. But he knew what they were thinking, and said to them, Every kingdom divided itself against itself becomes a desert, and house falls on house. If Satan also is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For I say to you that I for you say that I cast out the demons by Beelzebul. Now if I cast out the demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your exorcists cast them out? Therefore they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I cast out demons, then the kingdom of God has come to you. When a strong man fully armed guards his castle, his property is safe, but when one stronger than he attacks him and overpowers him, He takes away his armor in which he trusted and divides his plunder. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. These passages about casting out demons always seem a little strange to us today because we don't often talk in this language of casting out demons. But we can also recognize the power of demons in the world around us. And, and perhaps we talk about them most clearly in the form of temptations. We often refer to temptations as demons that plague us. Or intrusive thoughts as the demons that tempt us to go away from the path that we know we ought to be on. But in Jesus' time, Jesus was able to cast out demons in a way that people could witness We might see someone who was mute suddenly being able to talk and call that a healing miracle. But for the people in Jesus' time, they saw the interaction of demons. They saw spiritual warfare going on here. And so they wondered how Jesus had this power. Jesus said, what's more likely, that Satan's using his own power to drive out his own demons, or that someone stronger than Satan has stormed the castle and taken away Satan's armor and divided Satan's plunder. That's probably more likely. Jesus is the one who is powerful enough to overcome the evil forces in our lives. And that's an important thing to believe when you're struggling against temptation, when you're struggling against intrusive thoughts, knowing that Jesus is stronger than them and that Jesus is on your side is so important. You can trust in Jesus to be with you through that struggle. You're not stronger than those things, but with Jesus' help, you can overcome them. With the help of other people to encourage you, you can overcome whatever demons you're facing. Jesus, at the end of this, also says, whoever isn't with me is against me. And it does seem on the face of it that Jesus is saying, if you don't believe in me, and if you don't go to church, if you don't do all the right things, well, then you are my enemy. But if you remember what we read at the beginning of the week, that doesn't seem to make complete sense because we remember Jesus said, don't judge the Samaritan who believes differently. Don't, don't uh, call down fire upon them. And in fact, before that passage, a little earlier in that chapter, Jesus says the exact opposite. He, ever, he says, whoever is not against you is for you. This is a point where we have to let scripture interpret scripture. And we know that Jesus is one to offer grace even to people who believe and act differently than we would want or expect. And so, perhaps Jesus here is talking about the casting out of demons. Perhaps he is talking about how he doesn't work with Satan to cast out demons, but he works against Satan. Satan isn't gathering with Jesus. Satan is scattering. And Jesus is against all of that, against all evil, and on our side for good. And so we can trust in him to overcome whatever evil it is we're facing. Would you join me in prayer? Teach us, God, to deny ourselves for the sake of your kingdom. Help us also to distinguish self-righteous suffering 
from the suffering that comes simply from bearing our crosses as we follow you, and help us to follow you no matter what comes our way. Amen. Have a blessed day.